Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. As I'm sure you guys are aware there was a terrorist attack that took place on Friday on London Bridge and as the media has made abundantly clear the perpetrator was a Muslim. But just a side note a lot of you guys probably didn't know there was another stabbing that took place in the Netherlands and because the perpetrator wasn't a Muslim it wasn't necessarily called a terrorist attack. I just thought I'd throw out there now I'm saying. But that is not what we're focusing on today. Today we're focusing on Muhammad. Yeah that's right. Muhammad happened to also be one of the people that stopped the terrorist from causing more havoc. Now get this, he is a porter who washes dishes and what they said was this guy was on his lunch break here yeah, and he went stop this terrorist got back to work and didn't even tell anyone. It sounds like such an uncle thing to do. How comes you're not calling him an Islamist or faith inspired? Because to be fair he is a proper Islamist and he is properly inspired by his faith. But it just doesn't meet the media narrative does it? I mean to uncle it was probably just a regular Friday afternoon compared to what he's actually been through back home. I can imagine the interview. So. Mohammed, um, can you just tell us what happened and how it made you feel? Yes, I, I see terrorist, I stop terrorist, I, I go back work because terrorist is not going to pay my bills. I mean I've been trying to rack my brains as to why he didn't tell anyone. Now I've come up with a few theories yet. Yeah? My first theory is this, as Muslims we know that sometimes even when we save the day we can still be counted amongst the perpetrators. Uh, hey guys, um, I just want to say I caught a terrorist today. Did you say terrorist? Police! Ah! Or number two, he's a superhero and he just didn't want to blow his cover. Uh, hey uh, Muhammad, uh, did you catch a terrorist today? Uh, terrorist? I'm just here washing the dishes. What are you talking about mate? Oh you know what, he just got back late and he knew his boss wasn't going to believe him. So Mohammed, this is the fifth time you're late this week. What are you playing at? You better have a ruddy good reason mate. Uh, yes Mr. Charles, uh, this time um, I was out for lunch and there was a terrorist you see and me and a few other guys, one was armed with a fire extinguisher, another guy with a whale uh, tusk and we wrestled him to the ground and the police came and shot him in the head. If you got born yesterday yeah, you're fired. Go on, do one mate. So yeah guys, to those people who think Muslims are doing Turkey, which is hiding the truth just to blend in so we can harm other people or even those that say and constantly bring up that verse of the Quran that says when you see non-Muslims kill them without explaining the context wasn't this the perfect opportunity and why are Muslims now praising this individual because what this guy did was truly heroic he didn't know it was a fake suicide vest that that guy was wearing and the guy had two knives and he risked his life. Now that is heroic. Hope you guys learned something and were inspired by this heroic story. We do get quite a few nasty stories every week but it's nice when these ones pop up every now and then yeah. Until next time guys. Uh, I have a joke. Uh, knock knock. Uh, okay Mohammed. Uh, who's there? Uh, dishes. Um, dishes who? Dishes, Muhammad, uh, come to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.